Jalen, the champ is here. The champ Sue is here. Bird of the newly crowned WNBA champion, Seattle Storm, joins the program. Sue, thank you so much for taking the yeah. time. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So you just won your fourth WNBA title with the Storm, and you said that this team was built for the bubble. What do you mean by that? Um, we're just super <laughs> chill. And this is like a really weird experience where if you had like a, I guess like an emotional team, right? One that like got caught up in the highs, got caught up in the lows, it might be a struggle. But we're just such a chill team. We've been together for a couple years now, so we know, the, know each other really well, no drama. So that's why we're built for the bubble. And I mean, in fairness, we had our whole roster. Not a lot of teams did, but uh, all in all, built for the bubble. So you're a terrific floor general, and I want to celebrate your greatness because when you and I stack our resumes up, we have a lot in common when we put them together, like five championships in Russia, five Euro Leagues, four WNBA, multiple first team, all WNBA, two NCAA championships. We have two combined, Jacoby. But she does <laughs> something that makes me jealous. She gets to play with Brianna Stewart. And I love Jokic for the Nuggets, and I feel the same way about Stewie. How does playing with her, has it changed your game? You know, um, she's kept me young. She's kept me young, that's what she's done. It's, it's not necessarily like changed my game. Playing with her is, as a point guard, the easiest thing. Anytime you can play with a post player who can shoot, someone who can pick and pop, someone who creates for herself and for others, uh, it's just, it's super easy. But just having her and Jewel Lloyd, to be honest, these two young players coming in, number one picks. I was at that weird moment. I was like 34, 35 when they got drafted. And so it was kind of like, this could go one way or the other. And they just, they kept me young. So that's really how she's impacted my game the most. All right, Sue, so, you know I have to ask. What was the celebration like and how hungover <laughs> are you today? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you know. The glasses are on for a reason. I felt like it would distract from what potentially my eyes could look like. Um, you know, the celebration was different, but it was cool. I mean, we, we you know, there's no options for us. So in some ways that's good. We all kind of just kicked it together. Um, there were some people from the other team too. The referees were around. I mean, this is this is bubble life. It's, it's strange, but uh, we made the most of it. We had a DJ, obviously some alcoholic beverages involved and then you know how the rest goes yes yes <laughs> well you guys earned it and deserve it how about we talk so much and rightfully so about lebron james and leading his team potentially to a championship and being 35 years of age you're 40 years of age tom Two. brady status how long do you plan on doing this you still winning championships yeah i mean that's the part right like if I don't know if, if I was on maybe like a rebuilding team now or one that wasn't, you know, able to compete for championships, it might be different, but it's pretty motivating when you're on this team with youngsters. I mean, you talk about LeBron teaming up with a younger player, right? Him, Anthony Davis for, for him, it really does like rejuvenate. It gives you like this whole, it gives you years to think about. So that's kind of where I am right now. I can't imagine it would be too many more, but um, if I can still do it, I'm going to try. In that game three, you guys didn't start out hot. Anyone that sees the final score thinks it was a blowout from start to finish. At halftime, was it you were really motivated to win the game and sweep the aces or just to leave the wobble? What was more motivating? <laughs> um, I'm like, yeah, so that's one of those moments you don't know what's actually, ha you feel something, you don't know what the actual motivator is. But I have to be honest, like, they came out, like you said, they came out tough. Asia Wilson had 14 points in the first quarter. Um, we couldn't get our transition game going, you know, and Bill Lambeer liked to call us front runners. I, I think he was talking about our transition game though. Um, but then after the first quarter, we went up the score and we were, we were up two. So it was actually after the first quarter where we were like, guys, we just took like probably their best shot and we're up two. So that's when we we're like, okay, we're gonna be all right. Well, Sue, congratulations on the championship. We want to see you come back next season. We look forward to watching you for at least five more seasons. We'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. on ESPN. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.